Hey, hey, hey. How's it going? Happy Monday. I'm just catching my breath a little bit here. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about losing excuses and whew, I save there about losing excuses, right? So as you guys know, it kind of warmed up here um, in November, I'm sorry, in February a little bit. And so I started running again in February because I know that I want to do these triathlons this summer and I know that I have to work on my running. I have to work on my swimming as well. Um, but anyways, I started running at least three times a week. I would drop AJ off and then I would run with Brutus and then you know, I I was loving it because it was really warm. And then um, it started to get cold again. And I was like, yeah, I don't really do the cold. I was running a little bit when it was like 30 degrees. And I'm not quite sure what happened. I was starting to really enjoy running, which has never really been a thing for me. I used to try to run with music. And I couldn't do that because I found that I was like, oh, one song down. Okay, you know, 40 minutes left or whatever the case is. And so... Then I was trying to run without music and then I was, you know, I was trying all of these different things and it's just been a kind of a, a constant battle and learning experience and all of that stuff. So anyways, then last month I knew that I was going to start eating vegetarian and I also was going back to one of my lifting programs and I hadn't really done weights in a long, long time. And so I kind of just actually let the running thing go. Like I was just like, okay, well I'm doing this, I'm eating this way, I'm starting weights again, you know, I don't want to overdo it. And really it was just an excuse, you know, it was like it was cold out and like the dog wasn't running well and all of these different things. And so without me even knowing it, I was just using excuses again to not run. So what happened yesterday is a couple of my friends did the first sprint triathlon in my area and I didn't do it. Um, and... I was really bummed. In fact, I dreamt about it all night last night. I had a dream because I'm talking about getting my own tri bike now, well, a road bike that, that I can use for triathlons too. And so we were talking about it yesterday and I literally dreamt about it all night long last night, all night long. And so I knew that I was going to start running today again. I start the second part of my workout program and you know, I've done really well for the first month of following a vegetarian meal plan. And so I'm in this running group on Facebook from back home and I just have loved, you know, they're so awesome and motivating and inspiring and so every day they're posting in there and I'm following along and, you know, I was like, why am I not doing this? Like, I'm totally capable of doing running and my workouts and eating, you know, following this vegetarian meal plan. So, anyways, so I told them that I was going to start running today and then... Again, my meditation kind of, actually it wasn't necessarily my meditation, but the little book that I journal in about my meditations just basically was like, I can do hard things, you know, I can do whatever I put my mind to, and then after literally dreaming about a triathlon last night, in my dream what happened was, and I think this is because I was talking about getting my bike, is that I dreamt that I did so well in my triathlon up until the bike part and then when I went to get on the bike for whatever reason in my dream in this triathlon you had to ride the bikes that they provide or maybe it was because I just didn't have a bike so there was that option and then there was like no bikes that were fixed that I could ride and so I had to wait and in my dream it was like five minutes 10 minutes 15 minutes and I was like look like you guys have to pause my time and they were like there's just nothing we can do about it so you know I was like panicking in my dream and I actually ended up waking up before I found out like what I placed or whatever and so I was like all right today is the day I have to hey boo I have to start running and so I did so I did my workout this morning and of course did my meditation first and then Dropped AJ off at school, came back and got Brutus, and we ran. And I did 1.52 miles in 13 minutes and 46 seconds, which is good. So our first mile was kind of slow. Brutus was kind of getting the hang of it. And then I actually was listening to one of my cycle playlists. And on the cycle playlist, I have a couple of Tabata songs, one like three or four songs in. And so the end of our run, we did some basically interval 
you know, interval training. So for the 20 seconds on, we sprinted and then 10 seconds we rested and 10, you know, 20 seconds we sprinted. So that actually went well. So my second, you know, mile would have been much faster, um, but we just did one and a half miles. So anyways, I do plan to continue the three time a week running. I'm going to post about it and share it with you guys to keep myself accountable. That's what it's all about. It's just like my community, it's the safe pay place to stay accountable. So um, I also have some exciting news coming in a couple of days, maybe later today, probably tomorrow, but just some things that we're working on for our April group. It's going to be super, super, super exciting. Um, definitely there's going to be prizes. I'm not going to give away the whole thing, but you know, if you're a past challenger, if you're still looking to get in, you know, there still is time to get in. Our group starts next Monday and it's going to be super exciting. It's really, really great for, you know, springtime. In fact, the group is going to be called Spring Past Excuses, Spring Past Your Excuses. And, you know, it's going to, sorry about that, it's going to help keep me accountable too with my running and all of that stuff. So anyways, have a really good Monday. Um... Can't wait to see you all. Can't wait to share this exciting news about my group. Can't wait to share my journey with my running. Can't wait to like get closer to my triathlon date. Um, I believe the first one that I'm going to do, I think I'm doing two in May. So what my biggest weakness is, is actually the swim part. I can swim fine inside, but in order for me to do my big goal at the end of the summer, which is an Olympic triathlon, it's a mile outdoor swim. So of course when you're indoors, you can swim, 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 get to the end and hold on if you need to, <laughs> like to breathe and you clearly can't do that in open water. So I'm actually gonna do one of the sprint triathlons here where I did my first ones last year and then I'm going to also do an open, open water swim um, that's shorter that I will be doing the Olympic at the end of the year in. So anyways, that's my exciting um, news with training and whatnot. And so I'm going to keep you all up to date with that um, and also keep myself accountable. DJ, come back, come back, come back to me. Um, so anyways, have a really good Monday and I love you guys.